I steal oh, the yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crossing the Line, and we've got a fun story here today, Waffle House Wendy is the new hero we need. We didn't know we needed a new uh, feminine hero. But uh, we've got one now. Um, we're hoping that uh, Marvel and DC, somewhere along those lines, picks her up as a new character and we get a whole uh, Marvel Universe with Waffle House Wendy. Now, there was a viral video going around on TikTok and Twitter of uh, Waffle House Wendy here dealing with some disgruntled customers. Um, if you remember the old Vine of... Um, Waffle House, those guys don't fuck around. I mean, this is the best customer service I have ever seen. She served them completely. Don't fuck with Wendy's, man. I mean, uh, don't fuck with Waffle House. Don't fuck with Wendy's either. If you follow Wendy's on uh, Twitter, it's a fucking riot. But uh, don't fuck with uh, Waffle House, apparently. Now, we need this kind of shit here in Australia. I saw a video today of a um, crackhead Aussie bitch going off at an Aldi employee. Now, if Aldi or Woolworths or someone along those lines here in Australia had an employee like Waffle House Wendy, we would have some fucking fun content on TikTok and Twitter. And um, <clears throat> I'm all for it. I think she should be the new Batwoman or Waffle House Wendy woman. We gotta get something going. Maybe uh, Daily Wire can start a new um, universe where Waffle House Wendy is like the uh, Miss Amer um, Captain America woman, something like that. I don't know, but women's rights and lefts here with Waffle House Wendy. We'll get into the top story here. Uh, ex Waffle House employee recalls fighting extremely drunk customer in viral brawl, adrenaline and instinct. Here with the Fox News, and uh, we'll get into it here with Tucker Carlson. The Last Chairbender, a former Austin, Texas Waffle House employee who became a viral online sensation after coolly deflecting a chair that was chucked at her during a melee, told Fox News on Tuesday that her superiors rewarded her by writing her up for property damage as she has since been blacklisted by the restaurant chain. Now, I don't know about you, but if one of my employees at my uh, restaurants or something like that had beaten the fuck out of a customer for attacking them and uh, chair bended and fucking Jackie chaired a chair out of the way like she did, I wouldn't have been uh, reprimanding her. I would have been promoting her to, I don't know, security or fucking store manager or something like that. I mean, look, she's got dog tags. She served in the Waffle House Wars of 2022. This is, um, this is a hero. We need to protect women like her and promote them. And I'm shocked that the uh, leftist media fuckwits have not like taken her and herald her as the superhero that she is. So we'll keep going here. <laughs> Waffle House was trending on Twitter last week after a video of a female employee catching and slapping down a chair during a brawl at one of the chain's restaurants in Austin, Texas surfaced online. Haley Booth, dubbed Waffle House Wendy for a quick reflex as an impressive deflection, spoke out on an interview with Tucker Carlson tonight, Tuesday, offering her side of what went on that night and how she was treated by the chain in the months following the incident. We'll have a quick glance at the, uh, yeah, you can see the photo there. Uh, in the video posted online, Booth said that the brawl began in a large group, walked in and sat in a section of the restaurant that was closed off. After being told that the section was closed off, the customers continued to sit there and started demanding service. She explained. As the only cook on site that night, Booth was struggling to keep up the influx of orders coming in, she told Carlson. The group said she appeared to be, uh, she said, appeared to be extremely drunk and rowdy, probably just a uh, usual Australian kind of fucking late night at uh, a fucking Macca's or something like that, you know. All I know is they were extremely drunk or at least intoxicated and it was a slow night, she recalled. I was the only cook and there was about 20 to uh, 30 to 40 people in there that I had to cook for by myself. It was moving slow, drunk and impatient creates a volatile situation. 
Boo said the girl started hollering and demanding employees take their orders. And after a while, she told the customers they could leave. However, they chose not to leave. She explained and instead demanded that she, the white girl, isn't that racist? I mean, if they'd said the black girl and she was black, wouldn't that have been fucking front page news? I mean, it kind of is front page news news now but um you would have fucking heard about it we wouldn't have stopped hearing about it if they'd said oh the black girl uh the white girl cooked their food as the demands continued the tensions grew with one girl wearing leopard pattern clothing throwing silverware kicking plates and kicking food booth said after booth threw the sugar shaker at the woman uh the customer climbed into the counter and fell onto the other side she was then removed from the cooking area at which point she grabbed the chair and threw it at booth that is when booth calmly caught the chair with one hand smacking it down to the ground it all happened so fast it was mainly a pure rush of adrenaline and instinct that had me going booth told carlson uh, you got a tweet here from Brad Williams. The U.S. military has branches defending our country, army, navy, marines, air force, Waffle House employees. Is fucking completely. We'll watch a short clip here of uh, Waffle House Wendy. Oh, no! Oh, no! Fucking. Oh, no! Fucking pro skills like. Dana White needs to sign her up immediately. If Dana White gave her a uh, fucking stepping stone to launch her career from here, where would it end? I mean, she could be in the top fucking belt holders for the female division. It'd be amazing. She'd be up there with Ronda Rousey and fucking who knows. It'd be interesting anyway. Instead of applauding her composure at the moment, Booth said her boss came in to watch the security footage and wrote her up for throwing the sugar shaker, which she said amounted to destruction of property. I actually don't get any bonuses for it. The only thing I added I did get from the fight was a write up for breaking the sugar shaker, you know, telling them, telling me, you know, hey, we're going to write you up for the sugar shaker, but you did a good job protecting the store, making sure that you were all right, she said. However, when Booth tried to get a job at the Waffle House restaurant in a different state, two months later, she was told that she'd been blacklisted from the restaurant chain she had told Carlson. Now, I'm not surprised they had to write her up for something, um, generally like a slap on the wrist kind of thing. I remember we submitted footage of a fucking psychopath who tried to run over some of our row workers, and um, the only thing that ever ended up coming of that uh on my company's, uh, my work's fucking side of it was they w- they tried to get up the employee who nearly got run over for not wearing a helmet. So, you know, fucking think about it before you submit any of this shit to workplace health and safety or any of that because uh, they don't give a fuck. They will get you in trouble because they cannot get the customer or uh, the member of the public in trouble at all. So, um, yeah, make sure you just fucking cover your ass before you submit any footage, eh? Uh, two months after the fight, my relationship was getting more serious. So I moved out of the city. They told me I'm always welcome back to the store. We know you, you know, we're glad to have you back. You always have a place here. About six months later, when I went to apply at another Waffle House in North Carolina, I found out that it was blacklisted and on the not too hire list. Still Booth, uh, Booth told Tucker Carlson she did not believe the brawl had anything to do with her alleged blacklisting, but more of a, if we can't have you, no one can scenario. I mean... Completely right. I mean, if uh, that Waffle House can't have her as their fucking sensei, I don't know, uh, their chair bender, their security, their fucking in-house, in-house MMA perfectionist, fucking martial artist, whatever you want to call her, uh, no one else can have her. But I, I mean, who the fuck hasn't wanted to beat the shit out of a customer before? If you've ever worked in a customer service role, you want to beat the shit out of like fucking probably 40% of your customers. Just being nice. During Christmas time, you want to beat the fuck out of about 80 to 90% of your customers. I don't know what it is, but the Christmas time, Christmas period, they just get fucking dumber and dumber and ruder and ruder. I know uh, my partner, she works in uh, retail and the amount of stories that she comes home with from just rude Karens, fucking male Karens, or I don't know what you call them, Keiths, just rude fuckwits that don't deserve oxygen that um, you really wish you could just take out the back and flog. I reckon we should give people who do uh, any sort of customer, customer support role, any customer service role, anything like that, except for fucking telemarketers. If you're a telemarketer, fuck you, stop calling me. 
everyone except for telemarketers. If you work with customer service or something like that, you should have at least, I don't know, maybe once a day, maybe once a week even, we'll, you know, we'll meet you in the middle once a week. There's at least a customer you can either punch in the face or tell to fuck off. I mean, maybe once every month you can punch a customer in the face. Once every week you can tell a customer to fuck off. Um, something like that. I mean, because... Can you imagine saving that up for the week? And it's like, all right, motherfucker, it's Friday. Whoever fucks with me today, I am going to fucking end you. Or it's the end of the month and it's like December 30th, December 31st or something like that. Oh, fucking say Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve. How many fucking people would be walking out of that store with a blood nose? And it'd be fucking hilarious. I reckon we should like, I don't know, start a movement, put it towards Parliament. Maybe we could ask the Greens. It sounds like something they'd get behind. I mean... No, it's practical. They wouldn't get behind it. Uh, maybe we should ask like Labour or Liberals or One Nation, fucking someone, put it to the floor, see if we can get that put out. Uh, that'd be fucking fantastic. I'd, I'd vote for it. I don't know about you, but if, we, if you'd vote for it, I think we could get something going. I mean, make it so that the person, they have to make sure that it's a worthy reason. You can't just uppercut some 90 or 6 year old fucking grandma for dropping, I don't know, some fucking grapes on the ground. I mean, grapes are deadly to old people more than anyone else i mean remember when i worked at woolworths years ago there's uh we had fucking pamphlets coming out that saying that we had to pick up all the grapes because the amount of old people that f fucking slipping over and getting fucked up by grapes was worse than covid i mean um i would back that 100 percent. i think waffle house wendy here is a prime example of what we need to see in our stores because the amount of rude arrogant cunts they get around and i don't put up for it if i'm out in public someone pushes in front of me or fucking says something disrespectful or just is rude to even someone else if they're fucking rude to like someone serving them fucking point him out fucking make fun of them in front of everyone don't just let them get away with it fucking point him out point him out to everyone in the store go look at this fucking karen and then film it, film it, put it up on fucking uh, YouTube, put it up on Twitter or TikTok. Maybe it might, might even make it way to like uh, Barstool Sports or something like that. It'd be fucking entertaining. That TikTok I saw, I saw today of that fucking woman in, um, she spat on a uh, fucking Aldi uh, checkout dude, spat on him for like apparently stealing hundreds of dollars out of a wallet. Now, I don't know whether that was fucking from Ipswich or it was from fucking Sunnyvale. But that video, that just like personifies the fucking assholes that people in customer service have to deal with. And if you're in customer service and you think it, you know, maybe bring this up to your uh, boss or bring this up to your company saying that like, if you, you know, can get away with saying fuck you to a customer once a week, tell them to get fucked. That's their uh, weekly Karen or something like that. And then kick them out of the fucking store. Whatever you want to do. It's like, I'm never going to shop here again. No one gives a fuck you bitch. If... If they want to kick a man to the store or something like that, give them well, at least one a week. I mean, come on. One a week would be good. Well, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.